Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of My Perfect Bite. I'm Micah from Mikasa Kitchen and Bar and hope all of you are doing very, very well. Today's recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a chicken confit. I've got a bit of potatoes, some lemon, some aromatics like garlic and onions. I've got some bay leaf inside the fridge. I've got a chili party because my dad likes that. Sugar, salt and pepper. And I've got a bit of plums here, which is incredibly green. I think I got cheated by the uh, fruit seller. You gotta first cure this. And if you see my other video, curing essentially is salt and sugar. This time around, it's gonna be a dry cure. And we wanna get all the salt and all that sugar inside that meat and on top of that skin. So this is gonna go in the fridge six hours. Once it's been cured, dab dry the chicken and rub off all that excess salt and sugar and pepper and it's gonna go straight inside the pot. For the lemon, I kinda want to get the skin only. So, take a peel up and skin goes right in. Bay leaf as well. Chili, you sort of wanna squish it so the water and the oils sort of come out for the garlic. Yeah, the neighbors. Cut it in half. You're gonna put that inside. Olive oil. We use this at the restaurant. Submerge the entire thing in oil. You're probably wondering to yourself, Micah, that is a lot of oil. Is it gonna be greasy? Is it gonna be fattening? Absolutely not. Because we're just using the oil to cook the meat. We are not gonna be using it in the entire dish. No pokey pokey. Usually you'd want this to go inside the oven to sort of slowly, very gently cook at a controlled temperature. So I just wanted to show you that you can achieve the same sort of quality from a stove top. I'm just gonna regulate it with a bit of a thermometer. This is probably gonna sit on your stove for two hours. Keep in mind, this has to be an oven proof dish. It does not work if it's any porcelain or any china because it will break and it's gonna run with oil it's gonna be a bloody mess while we're waiting for that i'm gonna prepare some of my plums insert knife over here feel the seed all right and then you sort of go around it until you made a complete circle you sort of twist and then it should come off like that we're all doing temperature tests now huh? That's at 96.5, just a wee bit more. Mm, smells good. So, back to the plums. We're going to sort of cut into wedges. Oh, potatoes. So, I think I'm gonna get a bigger pot. So that gives it the ability to sort of get a really nice crust when I pan fry it later on. I'm gonna put them inside. And now we wait again. How hot are you? How hot are you? Once you're at this stage, you just sort of want to leave it alone for a couple of hours. Good thing I got a little iPad. I'm gonna watch something on Netflix. Hi, good evening, Mikasa Kitchen and Bar. How I know it's cooked is, I'm gonna just poke the thickest part of the meat, and uh, no blood. It's pretty much done, actually. I'm going to remove that from the fire. And that looks absolutely fantastic. Paper towel. Gently, gently, gently remove my potatoes. I think I wanna kinda char the onion later on, so I'm gonna save it as well. Now you're kinda wondering, Micah, what on earth are you gonna do with all that excess oil? you're not gonna throw it out. It'd be an incredible waste if you were to throw it away. We're gonna make simple caramel with uh, our plums. Sugar. We're going to put in the plums. Take a pair of tongs. Do not want to use your hands for this. Let that gently cook down. Pans nice and hot. My chicken has been blotted dry on paper towel. Just a wee bit of salt. And here, that beautiful sizzle. Then we're just gonna let the pan do its job. Plums, squeeze that juice in. A little bit of salt on this side. 
I'm gonna rest it on the side of the pan so that the skin is in full contact with the oil. Dad, can you smell it? Yes, man. Yeah, man. Potatoes. Beautifully colored. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that beautiful skin. Now, I'm gonna leave that to the side while we heat up our plums. And now, to plate up. And there you have it. My delicious chicken confit with potatoes, plums and onion. Very nice, not overcooked, quite happy with that. It's really nice, it's very delicious. And that's it for another episode of My Perfect Bite. Thank you very much for joining me on yet another episode. It's was incredibly delicious. You guys stay healthy and I'll see you next week. Ciao, man. I'm watching Spartacus now. Yo, dude, can I call you back? <laughs>